afternoon and welcome to another episode of Valley Spotlight. We are most certainly glad that you're joining us on this Sunday and hey Mike, it's nice to see you in person for a change. I know, now we're allowed to sit next to each other. Kind of. As long as we're in a group of less than 10, I think it's okay. Right. And I think you've been pretty healthy over the past couple of weeks. I feel good. On wood, I feel right? good. I don't look so hot, but I feel good. You look great. <laughs> oh, you look great. You really do. It's been a long do. time. It's been a long time. I know. I know. Hey, we're, we're in a great place that has stayed open through all of the COVID-19 right. problems and drama and issues. Of course, we're at Kelly Warren and Associates, and they are a necessary business because it turns out homes are important. They are, and they're doing good business, and we're going to talk with her in just a little bit. But in the meantime, thanks for letting us use her um, her office in Boardman for our, our digs today. That's yeah, kind of fun. We're, we're, we're hoping they don't kick us out before the show's over. <laughs> it's possible. It's possible. <laughs> you never know with these two. Uh, speaking of things opening up, uh, some of the downtown Youngstown restaurants and businesses are opening it up. So we're gonna paying a visit to V Squared to find out how they're doing it and conform to those guidelines. We can't wait for that. I know I'm pretty excited mm -hmm. about all of the things on their menu and um, we also get to take a look at um, our faces. Dr. Verbanek is going to make us look a little bit better especially since we're going to be able to be back out in public. Uh, Botox and Juvederm and some of the fillers things like that. I know Michael you don't need any of that. Not yet. You're good. You're good but we're going to have an update as to what you can yeah. do to keep yourself looking really good and it's just locally here in Liberty so super easy and they're wonderful out there. Yeah and we'll visit with Carl at the Anjuli's Farm Market too because it's time to plant the vegetables vegetables once Memorial Day. There's so much out. more, but we're running out of time. Yeah, I wanted to get to this uh, story. If you've been to Avalon's Grand Resort lately at all, you're going to notice all the different cool paints that are on the ceilings and the walls. So we tracked down the artist who is not only doing what she loves, but has made a fantastic business out of it too. So I figured I could make this a business. Actually, I was a little bit skeptical at first because, you know, randomly phone calls would just come in, you know. Um, so the more and more they just kept, you know, rolling in, I realized that, you know what, I think this is something pretty solid and I'm going to take it and run with it. And, um, you know, like I said, it's been 21 years now, so yeah. it's, it's been good. Tell, tell me some about some of these uh, kids murals you do for their bedrooms and things Yeah, like that. so when I first started before I was, this is when I was 18, before I went to um, uh, Cincinnati for schooling, I did just murals like on the walls, characters or sea animals, flowers, um, all that kind of cutesy kid stuff that I was already um, mm -hmm. into since I was young. Um, and then from there, like I said, I went to school and came home and you know, started doing different techniques. Well, I've done big restaurant projects, and I wouldn't really say that they were difficult, but it was just very, um, or, or I wouldn't even say that they were challenging, but just, you have to just keep on hustling. There's a lot of things where, say you have a large wall, or you're working up the steps, and you're working on top of scaffolding, and you're walking planks, all that kind of stuff, just we get, it gets a little tricky. Mm -hmm. um, because if you stop at a certain point with some of your technique, like you'll get these hard lines or funky kind of, you know, spots. So you have to move super fast. Um, so yeah, the colors that they had, they had took a picture out back here um, and sent it to me. So of course it was like a real sky that they wanted me to, um, you know, kind of play off of. So the coloring was a little bit challenging, although when you look at this, um, you know, you may not realize how many colors, but there's five layers of colors here. Um, and they want it to kind of just be a dusk sky. Um, you know, the color was a little tricky because we wanted it to have a little purple, but a little blue. There was a little hint of pink to it. Um, so yeah, the layering was something that I was definitely um, concerned about, but I think it 
turned out beautifully and complements the blue tile. Um, there's a lot of purple veining in the black tile as well, so I think that it, it turned out really well. We did the sky, as you can see here, through the hallway. Um, Ron had contacted me. We set up a meeting. He showed me um, what he had in mind, mm -hmm. and um, I kind of took it and did my own thing with it. I did an airbrush um, all throughout here and kind of just made the clouds to feel comfortable and casual and a little fluffy <laughs> and they kind of just dance back and forth. Um, there's a little depth to them but not too much and that just all comes in with the layering of color um, and of course the lights play a really nice effect on that as well. Um, so here's a wall finish that they chose to kind of just complement the flooring, um, complement the, the ceiling of course without um, you know fighting the two. Um, and it is a metallic finish with a silver um, wax over top and of course it has a little glitter just to shimmer through the hall. Um, and again, like I said, it just complements everything very nicely. It's a soft finish that doesn't overpower and just allows you to appreciate um, a beautiful space. And this was new for you, right? Correct. This is the first time I've done this finish. It's new. Um, I got it last November um, when I visited Chicago. Um, I would love to do this until I can't anymore. Um, I absolutely love what I do. I love um, the work. I love the challenges. I love making people feel um, very safe and warm in their homes. And um, I love all the challenges that come along with it. Doesn't she do beautiful work? Wow. I mean, the whole place is wow, but then yeah. those ev those extra details right. that just really add the space. I mean, she's amazing. If you'd like to get a hold of her, her Facebook page is Artwork Walls and More by Beth. And that ceiling, it's like, you know, when you go to Las Vegas and you're in the in Caesar's Palace and yeah. the forum shops and the clouds are over your head? It's like the clouds are moving. Like when you're looking at it, it's really cool. I can't wait to see it in person. Yeah, it's going to be neat. You get to be there all the time. I do. I do. <laughs> all right, when we come back... We're I, they're flipping out. We are flipping some shrimp. Mark Canzanetta and I go back, way back, to when Bistro 1907 first opened. This shrimp and pepper recipe, easy for the grill, and you're not going to want to miss it, so stay with us. Christine Dental is accepting patients of all ages. We understand your needs during this difficult time. We'll be following public health mandates by offering one-on-one -on -one provider-to-patient care. Appointment times will be extended in order to sanitize before and after each session. And there's no need to wait inside our office. One of our staff members will welcome you into our building for your appointment as you wait safely in your vehicle. Protective gowns and eyewear will be provided. Your health and safety is our priority. Call and book your appointment at Pristine Dental today. Salt Me is a company that produces products that are made out of Himalayan sea salt. I have a love affair with Himalayan sea salt. And as an ear, nose, and throat doctor, the most important thing for me is that the products are going to be effective and that they're going to be safe for patients. So I make products that help sinus conditions and I make products that are going to be good for the skin and good for the body. And all of them are made of Himalayan sea salt. about this recipe and the name of this dish for so long. I know. Shishito yakitori. 
Shrimp and shishito yakitori. Shrimp and shishito. Darn it, I was so close. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. It really there's no, is. There's no question. But it's Shrimp a great dish. Shrimp and you know, shishito yakitori. Yakitori. Okay. yakitori is one of the most ancient of Japanese cooking methods. You know, everything on a skewer, on a stick, can oh, taste good. All right, you know? So right. that's what we're going to do. So we're going to start off by making the sauce for this. You know, and we're going to start off with the base to, with a really, really good soy sauce. And in Japanese, they say shoyu. So we're going to start off with some really good shoyu, shoyu. some really good deep rich shoyu soy what about sauce, shoyu meat? and then we're going to have some ponzu, which has yuzu in it, which is a Japanese lime, and we're going to add some of the ponzu in there. We're going to add some mirin, which is a sweet Japanese cooking wine okay. to give it a little bit of sweetness. We're going to add some lime juice to give it that acidity, mm -hmm. which we love. Okay, and now we're going to add some ginger. I'm going to add some very, very finely minced ginger in there because we love the brightness of the flavor of the ginger. Can I help you? Yeah, please go ahead. <laughs> and we're going to add some toasted white miso. White miso paste is fermented soybean, Where and that really that? gives that. You can get it at any of your Asian grocers. I've seen it at you know the local grocers around town, and it really gives that depth of flavor, that unami effect. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of canola oil. And we're going to add a little bit of sesame oil. And this is going to be the basis to our sauce slash marinade for this. Okay, we're just going to whisk it? that. Do you did need it some perfectly. Pepper? No. No. Yeah, let's add a little bit of pepper. Why not? Kick it up a little bit and spice. I just saw yeah, we'll have a little bit of black like, pepper in there. And that'll be great. Really? Okay. okay, now we can take that and put that off to the side. That's all ready for us. I and that's really going to be a great it. dipping sauce for these yakitori. So we're going to bring this up. And look at these beautiful skewers we've already pre-done. Wow. So you're going to be generous with your guests because you want to impress your guests. So we have a wonderful 16, 20 count ship. That means they're 16 to 20 per pound. So we just want to take big a shishito pepper. A shishito. Go ahead and take one. All take right. a skewer. And one in 10 of these things is going to be hot, like it'll make you take a knee, like you're doing a T-bow. Okay. So, okay? <laughs> so they're going to be very hot, but the other nine aren't going to be so hot. And then we're going to take a shrimp, another shishito, another shrimp, and this is the beginning of our yakitori. And you, are you, you ready? I don't know what I'm doing. That's, you're fine. Hold on, okay, and then wait. I might be slow, but. No, I'll you're be, fine, you're doing eventually. fine. So I'm gonna take some of that I sauce, make sure I the reserve sauce, and we're gonna use that to dip at the end. A beautiful sauce we just made. But now we're gonna take those yakitori, and why don't you go ahead and dip the yakitori into the marinade, the sauce. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. I see what you're doing here. You see what we're throwing down? I do. Oh, we gotta, we gotta dip them. Yeah, just dip them a little bit. Is that working? Now, place it on the grill. So I'll sh and just put it on the grill right there. And this is a special yakitori grill. Okay, really? and this could be a great show for you to do at home. You just put them on, arrange them like this, and they're gonna cook beautifully. You're gonna take those shishitos. They're gonna get sweet yet spicy. We're gonna have that smokiness from the char on the grill. Wow. And on this grill, you can actually add some wood chips to that. But what a show this would be for your guests at home. Absolutely. Can you already smell that marinade cooking? Yeah, the wonderful you can. shrimp, the soy. So when we come back, we're gonna plate these, we're gonna talk about them, and they're gonna be done cooking. I forgot we were on TV for a second. I'm so installed with this. <laughs> All right, Mark, let's take a break and then we'll come back. And we'll just be like right what back. He said. <laughs> A to Z Dependable Services now offers walk-in tubs and showers in as little as one day. Let us create a safer bathing experience in your bathroom or the shower of your dreams. Call A to Z Dependable Services today for a free estimate or visit us online at onlyatoz.com. Hi, I'm Barbara Corcoran. Are you thinking of selling your home but you're not sure which agent to hire? You have a lot of choices, but really, the choice is simple. Because there's only one agent I would trust to sell my home. Go to kellysoldit.com and check out Kelly Warren's guarantee to sell your home or she will buy it. You can also find out how her marketing system creates demand and sells a home every 48 hours. Go to kellysoldit.com and get your home sold. It took as long as just a few, like a few minutes to make this happen. I know, it's great, it's great. And the great thing about this is how interactive with your guests. You can have fun with it, the guests can build. You can make your own yakitori bar, you can have diced up chicken, beef, pork. The one thing that we talk about is the famous Japanese yakitori, chicken, chicken butts. butts. 
chicken butt. <laughs> For real. It's one of the most famous ones. And when you when you go to Japan and you go to these little yakitori bars, whether it's on the street or inside of a restaurant, all they are is little coal-fired grills. And everybody, all they're constantly doing is turning skewers all day long. The guests are interactive. The chef's interactive. It's just a that. fun thing. And it's like you can't help but like want to like do it. I know, you right? You can't help it. Okay. All right. So I think so we're ready to done. plate. All right. So we can take these off, put on our plate. We have a little bit of that extra wonderful dipping sauce we just that made. That must have been mine. That, huh? that is yours. <laughs> I know. Okay. Perfect. Look at how great those And how look. gorgeous is that? And you know, so, so colorful, colors. so that aromatic. Gonna... You know, we're going to garnish that again with a little bit of scallion on the side, put a little bit of chives on top. You can put toasted sesame if you want. You can have some extra hot chili sauce to dip. But I think what we want to do is we want to enjoy this. Great thing to enjoy this with is some sake. Okay. So we're gonna have a little bit of sake to go along with this yakitori. I think it's a cool way to chill it down, chill that, because the best sake is served super, super cold. Okay. The warm stuff is the stuff that they, it isn't exactly the best. Okay, so, so sake is what again? Sake is, is rice wine. Okay. Rice wine. So cheers. Cheers. Mm. Wonderful. Now we're gonna take that yakitori and we're just gonna take a bite. Mmm, that's nice. Oh my God, the Ooh, flavor, I wait, I say. the soy, what? the mirin, everything came through. Now I'm gonna taste a little of that shishito. Are you? You're gonna shishito it? Mm-hmm. What if you get that one? And I think I got the one. Are you kidding me? It's really <gasps> hot. Did you But that's really okay. <laughs> I don't even, I... So I hope mine's not quite as, uh, yours isn't quite as spicy as mine. You but got I, a bad one. I got a, a hot one. one. So about one in 10 are super hot. This is amazing. And it's clear now. It, it got me a little bit. So we're going to be serving the yakitori through Lent here at Bistro 1907. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not hot. <laughs> Yours isn't hot. See? No. You got the lucky one. All right. This is amazing, by the way. Well, I'm sorry. You. He's like burning up. All right, we got to go because we got to go drink some water. Here, honey, you want some water? <laughs> no, I'm good. I got I'm it good. for you. Well, right. actually, John, Maybe a little bit you. more sake. There you go. A little sake, a little water. Cheers, everybody. We'll live, we'll live hopefully. <laughs> Cheers. You guys are good. You never know if you're gonna get the hot one. Right, that's true. You you never know. So it's like a guessing game. And yeah. uh, gosh, I can't wait for Bistro to open again. Won't be long. I know, just Won't a couple long. more weeks. So please be yeah. patient, please be patient. You know what else takes patience? A lot of things. <laughs> Technology. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I am the worst. So this next segment, next segment really helps people like me. Yes, it does. I'm going to kick you out of here. And Kelly Warren and I are going to catch up and find out exactly how they're able to um, send documents and then get signatures when it comes to the transactions, making offers, yeah. and buying and selling homes. It can get really confusing, especially when you're used to like writing it on a sheet of paper. So Plus, after this break, we find out how movies are rated when you go to the theater and visit with Sarah, too, at her house. So stick around. No hot water? Call A to Z Dependable Services. Our fully stocked rapid response water heater specialist will get you back in hot water in no time. A to Z is the only call you need to make. Well, we're very fortunate to have uh, really the, the, the best brands in the, in the industry. Honda, Toro, Steel, Husqvarna. And that puts a lot of, uh, gives the customers a lot of faith, not only in us, but in the products because they know their name brands and they know they're good brands. Very re reliable and they're gonna last them a long time. So you're not only you're getting a good product, but you're getting it backed by our good parts and service department as well. So let yourself go to Duca. Let yourself go to Duca. Girl. You got some teeny tiny feet. Where do you get your shoes? Ryers. They have all the sizes, even for teeny tiny feet like mine. It's always tax free in beautiful downtown Sharon. The time is now. Steel Valley Lifts knows you deserve the best car lift for our best price. Double your garage space with lifts starting at just $39.95. Steel Valley Lifts. We hold firm on American values. The strongest steel and the strongest workforce make the safest lifts. Call our skilled service team today and find out why our customers have been with us since 1988. Trust is built on strength. Visit SteelValleyLifts.com and trust us to lift you in the future. Valley Spotlight. We kick 
picked out Michael for like a hot second. Is that okay with you? It's fine by me. Thank you, Kelly, for in in inviting us into your beautiful office again. How are things going for you? It's it's going good. You know, it's it's a new world, but it's all going good. <laughs> it is a new world, and you guys are really like rolling with the punches, so to speak. And technology is a huge thing. We were talking via FaceTime the last yes. time. Yes. So it's nice to see you. But the reason I have my computer again is because you do so much online and you do so much documentation and document signing that sometimes for an older generation or for first time buyers, they don't realize that so much of it is going to be happening on their computer. Right. Why do you guys do it? When did that start? How do you feel about the process? And um, We so started questions. with that kind of technology like e-signature technology. Mm -hmm. So I can send you the document and instead of you having to come in every time there's a something to initial, it's that convenience factor. And we started doing that maybe almost 10 years ago right. like it's okay. been a long time but now we do more and more of it and people can pull it up on their phones and it's just gotten so so push the button easy on my end but like you said you know sometimes for a client it takes a minute to get used to and so we give our clients the option you know if you want to come in and do this face to face and paper I, I'm happy to use paper and pens <laughs> and look at all the pens we have <laughs> See, you can still use a pen if you want to. If you prefer to do it electronically and save yourself the time, or if it's just easier to do it that way, you know, we're happy to walk you through how to do it. And it is a pretty simple process. It, I know my, my mom, of course, you know, recently bought a home in the area. And for her, I mean, she hadn't bought a house in 30 years. Mm -hmm. To her, it was like, is this even real? Is yeah. this a real document? Is it, is it really me signing it? Because she's not like actually signing yeah. her name but your, that's for real your mom and many of our customers um, are real good at let me read through it let me write down my questions now let's have a real phone call before I click and sign it can you change this what does this line mean you know they said they want the washer and the dryer and I didn't want to leave the washer and dryer and so then I can go back in on my end and edit the things that we need to change and I can answer any questions they have and then resub share it to them and then they can click and sign. I would think that would make life a lot easier and faster and you know less headaches. It does, yeah. Less headaches. Well, um, you guys are keeping everybody safe. I know that your agents are, like I hear the phone ringing. Yep. So um, whatever you're doing, I guess just keep up the good we'll work. Keep doing it. I was gonna say, <laughs> and it's good to see you and a lot of graduations and your your, your son is one of them, yes, right? Yes, Joey's one of these 2020 quarantine toilet paper grads. I don't know. <laughs> you should put some toilet paper on a beautiful wreath. I'm, I'm going to. <laughs> I'll send I you a picture. I see that in my head happening. <laughs> Anyway, uh, thank you always for the support, and uh, we're super proud to, to work with you. Thank you. I love being here. All right. Well, we're going to find out next, since everybody seems to be watching, um, you know, movies and streaming shows, and, you know, kids, well, we're not sure what the age group is supposed to be, so rating TVs and movie shows, TV shows and movie, is that what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Netflix. Right. <laughs> the rating system. Sean Posey has it for us, and uh, take, take a look at this. From the Great Depression until 1968, most American films were subjected to the Motion Picture Production Code. Voluntarily adopted by major studios, the code censored so-called morally objectionable material. In 1934, an amendment to the code birthed the Production Code Administration. Films released hereafter needed a seal of approval in order to find widespread distribution. Everything from interracial romances to dances which emphasize indecent movements were forbidden. Films released after 1934 bore the hallmark of the administration's efforts. It is the difference between Mae West and Shirley Temple, said film historian Thomas Doherty. Indeed, Mae West, an actress who pushed the limits with innuendo and sexual suggestiveness, saw her career decline due to Hollywood's voluntary adoption of the code's strictures. I wish you'd forget your principles, Ruby. I must have you. Your golden hair, your fascinating eyes, and alluring smile, and lovely arms, your form divine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this a proposal or you take an inventory? You certainly know the way to a man's heart. Oh, funny, too, because I don't know how to cook. Because of the code, Doherty said, the guilty are punished, 
the virtuous rewarded, the authority of the church and state is legitimate, and the bounds of matrimony are sacred. Over the years, the code's strictures loosened. Films such as Some Like It Hot, which was denied a seal of approval but became an enormous hit anyway, helped erode the code's power, as did Psycho. Hitchcock's shocking masterpiece carried the code seal despite its obvious explicitness. In November 1968, the MPAA film rating system officially replaced the increasingly ignored production code. There were initially four ratings, G for general audiences, M for mature, R for restricted, and the X rating for adults only. The rating M was renamed to GP for general audiences, parental guidance suggested, and then finally PG. In 1984, the PG-13 rating was adopted in the wake of graphic PG films such as Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom and Gremlins. In 1990, the NC-17 rating replaced the X rating. When the new rating system arrived, trailers were produced to explain them to audiences. To familiarize you with the movie rating symbols which will be used by this theater, we present the following guide for parents and young people. It is designed to inform parents about the suitability of movie content for viewing by their children. G, all ages admitted, general audiences. GP, all ages admitted, parental guidance suggested. R, restricted, under 17 requires accompanying parent or adult guardian. X, no one under 17 admitted. As the popularity of cable television rose in the late 1970s, the ratings were explained prior to the airing of each film. The following feature has been rated R by the Motion Picture Association of America. It is intended for mature audiences and parental discretion is advised. Home box office will show this feature only at night. I've always wondered about that. All the things you learn on Valley Spotlight. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I've always wondered too. Like, Thank how you, do Sean. They how do they decide? And I'm at that point now where I'm trying to figure out if kids, my kids can watch the PG-13, or if they can just watch PG, or if it's an R, is it okay? And, oh, it's a real pain. But If only they could do that on the TV right. remote control, and then that way th right. they could just touch be able it. To figure it out. That would be a lot easier. All right. Hey, you've got some hints, hacks. So yeah, she's got it covered. She's ready to go. Uh, summer is open for business, and there are certain things that uh, get stained. So she's going to help us take those stains out right now. Well, when Sarah invites you over for coffee, you bring the coffee. And then uh, you get a helpful hint and hack to go along with it. Isn't that right? You do, and I got your shoes. Thank you so much. I know. we're, we're <laughs> And that's another thing for another day. But exciting to be here. You don't see a lot of homes with a disco ball on the front porch. Amen. <laughs> so, so we came outside to get started. Here, uh, since people can go outside now, this oh, is, uh, and we have all sorts of things that come along with summertime and all sorts of stains that need to be removed. Uh, we thought we'd do a couple seasonal stains. Sure. And my sure. kids do this all the time. No, it doesn't fail. They'll come outside in their flip-flops to play basketball. Of course, right? For no reason at all, not putting on shoes. And then the flip-flops will come off and they'll end up doing something like this. Walking through the yard that's already wet because it rains every single day. Every single day. And then, your, and then your foot looks like that. Of course. So of course. you have an idea a good idea to get this out. A helpful hit and hack if you can help me out. Yeah, I'm ready. Um, it's too early for a little PBR. <laughs> this However, really is a beer in here. It is not PBR. It's a little bit of my secret laundry detergent uh -huh. and a little bit of vinegar. All, All right. you do on those dirty socks. Is yep. that too much? Eh. Yeah, hey, probably. a little bit goes a long way, but so that's what? vinegar okay. in the spray in the spray can. This is just a little bottle? bit of cleaning vinegar. Um, I do add essential oils just to make it Ooh. smell good, and your laundry will smell a little better too. And essential oils is in that are in that too. That's already starting to activate, huh? It is. All you do, like you can see the I put activation. In too much. No, it's okay. A little bit more. Uh huh. All you do, just give a little rub, and then throw it in your laundry bag. Uh huh. 
and then it'll come out clean. And we have some garment bags here that uh, we're already working on our, our laundry. I'll talk about that in a second. All right, on this but shirt is... We have uh, a little coffee stain. It happens. I think I got a little beer on it too. Uh huh. Same um, idea? However, same idea. All you do, sprinkle that on the collar. Okay. A little bit of vinegar. Activate it with that science behind it. And give it one of those, right? Give it one of those because I found this shirt humorous, but it's going to be clean. What's it say? Uh, oh, I, I found this humorous. Uh -huh. um, it's going to be clean, again, just with the same kind of colors. You want to stick your grays together. Uh -huh. But... Off into the laundry it goes. Off into the laundry it goes. Okay. Um, we want to talk about delegates. This, this is... Uh, we talk about our delegates. Super delicate. This is a pillowcase? This is a pillowcase. I do like my fancy pillowcases. I guess so. Like and I this, like my fancy disco ball. I, I can't believe this doesn't happen more often. Uh, makeup that you don't get all the way off before bed, right? I know. Mm -hmm. um, I try to. Unfortunately, I do get some makeup on my pillowcase. Same um, idea? Same idea. However, with delicates, a little bit does go a long way, but, and that's okay. You ruined your delicate. No, you didn't ruin my delicate. Uh -huh. um, all you do is the same kind of science behind it, mm -hmm. that washing soda and the vinegar. Mm -hmm. You want to test out a little bit like I do with my slippers. I oh, have just Uggs. to make sure. Just to make sure it's color safe. Mm -hmm. This is coming out, thank goodness. Oh, wow, it does come right out. And that's some decent makeup. Um, <laughs> I do wear a lot of makeup, but at the end of the night. I used to too. <laughs> I won't tell anyone. <laughs> but if you spray that, again, throw it in a garment bag. Uh -huh. And then um, off you go. But here's another helpful hint and hack go ahead. for you guys. Mm -hmm. For your kids, for your grads, dads, please wash these separate. Um, those are delicates. They want to be a little bit delicate in the cycle. Mm -hmm. Same thing with your slippers, especially with these like really fancy kind of garments. Test it first, right? Test it first. Okay. Your shirt, if you happen to get something hugged, like I love the hug, uh -huh. six feet hug, right. but- right. One of these? Um, one of those, but if you get some like makeup on your shirt, a little bit of extra wine, uh -huh. unfortunately we spill, but take your washing powder, mm -hmm. um, dab it a little bit, like I said, with your vinegar, also with that, Throw it separate in a garment bag. Okay. We're doing tons of laundry nowadays, but it's a good idea to wash those separate. All right. If people want to give you guys a call and have you come out and do some cleaning at their house, what do we do? Sure. Currently, I am not cleaning. I am on a medical hiatus uh, due to a surgery. However, our number is 234-600-7251. Sarah's Cleaning Yo at Facebook, um, also Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, my staff is willing and able to go out, uh, but also um, happy to do a little bit of laundry awesome. if you need it done. Thank you. Hope you feel great. Thank you, Mike. Thank All you right. for the coffee. Uh, you're welcome. A we will share the coffee. I was not expecting a science experiment when I went over there. <laughs> Sarah will keep you guessing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I don't want to say where she lives because I don't want a bunch of crazy people coming to her house, but she really has a disco ball on her porch. <laughs> And, and a little thing out front for books. You can take a book or leave a book. She's always so thoughtful and she's always dropping off special things um, for me and for Sabina to keep us, you know, healthy and engaged. And I'm very thankful for yeah. that, Sarah. I really am. So she's got so many surprises up her sleeve. We're lucky to have her. And Aiden, the, her son, did the camera work. Right? So thank you. Way to Aiden. go, Aiden. Your check's Aiden in the you. mail, buddy. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Anyways, when we come back, it's finally time to plant our vegetables. And Carl and Julie, he is one of the best. He and his entire family, and he's going to teach you a few things, isn't he? Yep, we're going to the farm market after this. And she would always say, honey, I, you snore so loud, I, I can't believe how loud you snore. And I'm like, what? And he claims I quit breathing. I've tried four different masks to make it work, and I just can't do it. And I'll be honest with you, I did off. not know what REM sleep felt like right, before the appliance. I really right. did not. I, did. I never had that deep of a sleep before. Well, Ducat not only sells the product, but we service them. We have parts 
and service support for every machine that you buy at Ducut. Um, you are purchasing a machine, it's eventually going to break or need work, and we are here to do that. Uh, you don't get that from an online sale or a mass merchant. They just don't have the ability to have the parts and the service. We send our mechanics to school every year. We have two Briggs & Stratton master service technicians. There are not many in the country, probably less than 5,000 in the country, and we have two at Ducut. And we also have gold certified steel mechanics uh, and numerous certifications in parts and service for, for every brand that we carry. So let yourself go to Ducat. Let yourself go to Ducat. Sweeney is here to make your buying experience safe and easy. Only at Sweeney, save 25% off MSRP on the 2020 Chevy Equinox or Trax. Or save 25% off MSRP on the 19 Chevy Silverado. Or save 20% off the new 2020 Chevy Blazer. Shop from home at SweeneyCars.com or stop by Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. On Market Street in Boardman. Back here at Anjuli's Farm Market, and now's the time. It's finally time, I yes. think, to start yes. putting our vegetables in the ground, right? Yes, it is time. It's uh, Memorial Day. The season is uh, is upon us to get our gardens planted. Yeah, and so we're ready to go. Are yeah. there some that maybe we could have had in before? Yeah, you could do like your cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower stuff, stuff that would take the frost. No, we're, no problems there with that. Okay. And uh, you can get that stuff early on, always get that planted now. Memorial Day's upon us. Garden time. Garden time. Let's start here since okay. these are in front of you. These are our herbs, right? Herbs, yes. So you got the basil plant here. You can just leave this on in the planter or if you want to transplant in your garden. But ideally, this was designed for on the patio by the house. Grab a few when you're cooking, grab a few pieces. Okay. Using cooking. These smaller pots, um, if you have an herb garden, mm -hmm. these would be great to go into. Or unless you don't want to do that, you can still transplant these into a larger pot and put it on your patio. Okay, at the end of the year, at the end of the summer, can I take them out of the ground, put them in a pot and bring them back in? Yes, yes, if you have a larger pot, always a larger pot when you want to overwinter your herbs. You can do like your thyme, your rosemary, even uh, a lot of times people have good luck with the, um, the mint. Okay. Overwintering. Now let's talk about that. Well, let's start with these tomatoes. Uh, you got a couple of different ones here. I always feel like, why wouldn't I get the biggest ones? Because then right. I get tomatoes earlier. Is that a myth or is that true? No, that's the truth. Okay. You know, we got this gorgeous large tomato plant here we call the cheater tomato. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> the cheater tomato plant. First one in the neighborhood to get tomatoes. That's right. You can either keep this on your patio in the pot the way it sets and just grow it out. Or if you want to take it and transplant it into your garden, mm -hmm. you can also do that. And we have another one here in the front. Then, right? And then these here, these ones in these uh, smaller pots will have to either go into a patio planter or into the garden. If you're a garden, you got some zucchini there, you wanna plant that in the garden always, your peppers and some other larger pepper pot, uh, pots. We had a tough year last year for tomatoes, did we not? Yes, it was. It was a lot of rain and not enough heat and sunshine. I mean, that's that's what tomatoes love, the, the heat. The, the sun and the heat is what makes a nice sweet tomato. And you gotta be careful where you put them then, I would think too. Yes, you wanna make sure your garden is in a higher, like raised bed garden seem to be pretty good, especially in Northeast Ohio where we get six inches of rain and the rainfall and it gets right. washed away. Mm -hmm. So either a higher spot in your yard or a raised bed where there's lots of sun, not very many trees. No and trees at all around it. You want nice airflow, a lot of sunlight. And we can kind of control the water that we put on. Yeah, you can so always you go in and, and put water in the garden. You know, always it's better to add water than have a flood. Yeah. Um, zucchini, simple. The same simple. place as the tomatoes, everybody yes, in the same yes, spot? Yeah, you want everybody to be in the same spot. Lots of sun, raised hills on the zucchinis, and in pepper, same thing. You know, they, they'd not like to have wet feet. Roots wet. Is it true that if you have a hotter summer, you have hotter peppers? Yes. That's definitely. that's not that's really same the case. thing. Hotter summer, sweeter tomato. Oh really? Yes. Oh very good. A lot to do with that. I have one more tomato question. Then we're going to get to the fertilizer. Let's say I pick one, or somebody gives them to me, and they're not quite ripe yet, or I get them at the store, and they're not quite ripe yeah. yet. What should I do? Never refrigerate tomatoes. Never, okay. never, never, never. 
you get one, just sit your set it in your counter or by on the windowsill in your house and just let it ripen. Nice deep bread brings out all the sweetness. Why can't I refrigerate my tomatoes? Because they lose flavor right away. Once the tomato goes below 50 degrees, the flavor goes with it. Good to know. Finally, fertilizer. And this this all-purpose is good for all these different plants? Yes, that the blue fertilizer we sell and Julie's all-purpose fertilizer is mm -hmm. excellent for your garden. We suggest once a week, uh, two tablespoons to one gallon of water. Mm -hmm. You can use that, or and also good on your flowers. Very important for the plants. I yes, think, you, right? have, you have to give your plants fertilizer or they will not produce. Inside the building is the market. What do we have right now that's in stock? Uh, so the harvesting homegrown asparagus, it's excellent. And then we have some great greenhouse Ohio grown tomatoes. Very good. All right, come on. It's vegetable time, everybody. Get out there in your garden and plant if you haven't already. And Julie's Farm Market, located here on 46, just south of Canfield, a little bit past the fairgrounds on the right-hand side. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. Good job. Well, here we are. I'm Lauren, this is Dr. Verbanic, and we're at my house. Hi, Dr. V. Hi, Lauren. <laughs> this is so much fun, isn't this it? This is great, love we're, it. We're doing some Valley Spotlight stuff with some of our, our, our best people, and this is a chance for us to catch up with you as you're on your way to an emergency appointment, right? That's correct. Well, we're glad that you're able to uh, not just serve people when, of course, they're in pain and in need, but also making people look a little bit better around the edges you know what i mean so on days when we're spending so much time with our friends and our family we're looking forward to other things and getting out there again you guys do some cosmetic stuff that can make everybody look a little bit better don't you well, that's what the idea is yeah what do you do and how do you do it and why was there so much interest in it on your behalf because this is something that you have been uh, a part of and doing for for a very long time and you're very good at it oh, well thank you uh well we, you know we do some botox okay and uh do some Juvederm and Voluma and uh, some fillers and uh, some threading. Okay. Yeah, yeah you have, we haven't done that yet, so. Uh. No, <laughs> we haven't, and I haven't had that done either, but you have, I will say this, you, you have um, helped me with the, the, the Botox once or twice in my life, and um, it, it actually works for so long that I'm very, very impressed with it. Like, it stays for so long. I, am, is that the normal thing, or is that just is, am I just le that lucky? Well, you're pretty lucky, but uh, normally it lasts for three to four months. Mm -hmm. And then, but the, if you continually get it done, it lasts longer. Okay. And you don't have to get it done as often, and, and, and less it requires less material. You have a, a, a beautiful a beautiful team there. I have to say, a lot of good looking people, and um, you've helped out some of the girls there. And they're always saying what a good job and how gentle and how kind you are when you do it. So I want everybody at home to know that as well. well that's what we want to try to be. You know. Yeah. <laughs> we want to make it a pleasurable experience. Absolutely. And you're going to make everybody look better too. And when the office is open again, I want to encourage people to like be able to give you guys a call and ask more questions because they're so dedicated and they're so patient. Oh. So give everybody the phone number at home. Okay. Once you guys are open again, which <laughs> we're right. looking forward to. Yeah. Our, our phone number is 330-759-4550. All right, Dr. V, you gotta go, like literally right now. <laughs> I think I'm somebody, on my way. <laughs> somebody is waiting for you, so thank you, thank you. I'm gonna give okay. you, I'm gonna give you the old elbow bump. Yeah, all right, appreciate and, it. And um, we'll stay safe and stay healthy. So thank you for all the advice. Okay, we you're appreciate welcome. it. All right. He didn't actually give me any Botox when we were sitting at my house. Well, you haven't had a wrinkle yet. That is so not true. It's the furthest thing from the truth. Here's Don't what I wrong. do, and people, this will save you a lot of money. Just get fatter. That way the wrinkles go away. You don't have to worry about it. It's like your own home Botox kit. You owe me. You owe me. Hundreds get a, of dollars. Get a slow clap for that one. <laughs> you know what you could eat a ton of? You could eat a ton of this buffalo chicken dip. And right. it's like a real, it's a healthy version. These two ladies, they know what they're doing, don't they? Yes. Let's check in with Helga and Charlotte and find out what they're making this week. Hi, this is Helga the Kitchen Witch. And I'm her daughter, Charlotte. And you're showing me today what you're gonna make with cream cheese and uh, chicken? Buffalo chicken dip. Okay. Now, there's a lot of buffalo chicken dips out there. This is a little bit on the skinnier version so that you can indulge and not worry about the waistline. Um, the kids are coming over and having a lot of friends over and they may not worry about their waistline, but some of the kids are. So I tell them all it's, it's all friendly. <laughs> it's friendly. 
So we're going to take some um, softened cream cheese, and I use the light version. Eight ounce? <clears throat> Do you use all eight ounces? You know what? Yeah, I'm going to do one one block. If you okay. want, a, for a bigger group of people, you would use two. And I can't get it open. <laughs> so it's supposed to be it's like giving, it's I know, to show you. It's too open here, <laughs> and it's not giving me a, it's not doing it for me. Okay, take the knife. So we're going to go. cut it. There you go. <clears throat> there. And um, I'm going to put it, make it into cubes so that it'll melt up a little bit easier in the microwave. There's so much you can so, do with cream cheese, isn't there? There is. Very good. So I'm just gonna make it into small cubes and it'll melt up easier. And like I said, if you wanted a bigger batch, just use two blocks of cream cheese. Okay, so we put it in the microwave for like 50 seconds just to get it nice and soft. And now we're gonna add... Mm, ranch dressing? Ranch dressing. Very good. Light. Make okay. sure you get the light. You can use fat free if you want, but. Um, what about the full power one? Oh, this, you want it to be <laughs> a little healthier. And this, okay. you can fit to your taste buds. Okay, start with like a cup. You might want to add more ranch. You might want to add more hot sauce. All depends on how you like it. Okay. My daughter likes it hot. Wow, Maddie, she eats hot. She, yes. Yeah. And, um, and this can all be done on the stove top as well. You can, um, oh, you know what? Let's take this little thing off the top so we can pour it easier. There you go. <laughs> um, well, how, that much? This much. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be hot. It's a, it's a cup, a cup of each. But like I said, you can make it how you want it, mm -hmm. how you want to have it, if you want to have it hot or not. Very good. Now. I'm gonna kind of get this a little bit mixed together. And um, I cooked earlier a chicken breast. Yeah, you don't like the canned chicken, uh, but they can uh, You can the use the canned chicken. You yep. can grill your chicken for a different flavor and put grilled chicken in it. You can, um, this I just cooked poached. in some chicken broth, poached it in some chicken broth, yeah. and then shred it up real nice and mix that all in there. Boy, that, that is it? That's it. What about this one? We're gonna put cheese that in one. next, but okay. I just, I kinda like trying to mix a little bit at a time to get it all incorporated, and then I'm gonna add some cheese into there and then mix it some more. Okay. That way you get everything all mixed up. And then it's a cup of shredded cheese. Eyeball. And we'll, um, eyeball, we'll it. eyeball it. Yes. Because <laughs> that's mom's favorite term. Yes. Whoops, and now I'm making a mess. And. That's a little more than a cup, but that's well, fine. I like it cheesy. Yeah. So, we're gonna mix that all up, and then it's best if served in a little small crock pot. We have it going right Because here. you want it to stay nice and uh, soft and melty schmelty. And it's nice when it's warm, though. It tastes good. It's much better yeah. warm. I mean, you can eat it when it cools down, but it's better when it's warm. Okay. okay. Now, I, I think can I have a sip? I, I mean, <laughs> you can have a sip, but I think if you took a chip, it would be Sorry. a little better. Okay, I want to taste it. Yeah, see, I think it might need a little more hot sauce. It's, I, I can even tell by the smell. Oh, a little, even for me. It needs even a for more. you, yeah. So mm -hmm. that's where you just adjust it to your liking. If you want a little bit hotter, just add a little more. It seems to me that you need more hot sauce to the ranch well, dressing. Well, you know what? This is a lot of cheese. And it right. absorbs it, you know. Plus Eight ounces, yeah. the other and cheese. cheese yeah. And then what we're gonna do is um, pour nice, it into. Nice cake though. Oh yeah, you well, want to put it in here? Yeah, careful, that gets hot. So then we're just gonna, it's just best to, to serve it in a crock pot. A little this snack. A cute, cute little one. It's a little snack crock pot. You could probably even do it in one of those like fondue pots. Yeah. Um, but you know what, it's easy to throw together. That was fast. Everybody likes it. You yes. know, it's mm -hmm. it's not as um, sloppy as buffalo wings. <laughs> so, I'll put it and in then here. we'll put it in there and let it get all melty schmelty. And then, yeah. and ready to party. We're ready to have a nice time. And now we're gonna go taste it, are we? Yes, it's been in the crock pot for um, for about an hour and it's all nice and gooey and melty. And, and guess what? I snuck a couple of beers from your dad. 
That's his favorite beer. And of course, I'm not Buffalo a, did. Now, yeah. not for the kids. The kids, they can have some root beer, but <laughs> yeah. we're gonna have some good beer. All right. Oh my God, look at this. It's pretty. Really pretty. All right, well, okay. shall we? Shall we? Mm. Take a little dipper and scoop up some of that chicken. Mm. Now it's hot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very really good. Now it's perfect flavor. And now we're going to do ein Prosit. Sika saka, sika saka. Hoi, hoi, hoi. hoi. Prost. Until next time. This is the Kitchen Witch saying, Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss. I feel like we should have something to toast them back. Toast. Like they're toasting us. Well, I mean, we're all kind of in the toast, aren't right. we? But we don't have anything to toast back. And the last time we were here, they were actually toasting with us. Yeah, warm German wine. or This social distancing thing. <laughs> we're down. over it. We're over the whole thing. <laughs> as long as we're staying but safe. Have to I be didn't, safe. I, right, I didn't mean to, to make safe. a joke. I know that. All right, when we come back, uh, downtown Youngstown's over this um, coronavirus, I can tell you that. Yes, they are. There are a lot of restaurants and theaters and amphitheaters and arenas and stuff that want to get back to business. And let's face it, I would like a meatball salad more than anything <laughs> right now. And that edamame hummus? Uh-huh. Oh, Vernon. Well, they're going to make the meatball salad. Do they? And we're going to visit with Eddie from V Squared after this break. Okay, oh, our buddies. I miss them. Me too. Be right back. Baby, you got some big feet. Where do you get shoes for those feet? I buy them at Ryers, of course. They have all sizes, even for me. They're always tax-free and located in beautiful downtown Sharon. And she would always say, honey, I, you snore so loud, I, I can't believe how loud you snore. And I'm like, what? And he claims I quit breathing. I've tried four different masks to make it work, and I just can't do it. And I'll be honest with you, I did not know what REM sleep felt like, like before too. the appliance. I really did not. I, it, I never had that deep of a sleep before. From the beginning, it's been like hard work, all me, trying to get this done, trying to get products out there, and coming up with different ideas. You know, each, every single product has a story behind it, and every story is because they were made to help somebody. I've been in the restaurant business for 13 years. I have not ever seen anything like this. Uh, it was very, very sad for us to go through this. We got closed down on Sunday, two days before St. Patty's Day. And it was one of our biggest weekends. And we lost all that excitement, people downtown, our energy. It was very, very sad for us to close that period of time. Uh, we tried to make it through it. We thought we'd go ahead and make it through it before it happened, but it didn't happen. So we got to go ahead and go ahead and open up. Right now, we're, take, we're sitting back, we're studying all the procedures and what we need to do. We want to make everybody safe. We want to come in here, make everybody relax. The place been scrubbed down completely, sanitized. Uh, we had our kitchen sanitized, our restaurant sanitized. We had all the floors, all the furniture scrubbed down. So now we'll be dividing up the room. Everybody got to be six feet apart. But we, we want to make sure our customers are safe. Okay, our kitchen, we're talking to the health department about our kitchen, our procedures, what we need to do, and how we're going to serve it, and how the food's going to be handled. I think we'll get back to normal by the year. Uh, time everybody, everybody's going through some hard times. You know, who's working, who's not working, who's getting on appointment, who's not getting on appointment. Uh, people, are, people are just a little panicky right now because they know what's going on. You know, they got families, they got house payment, mortgages. Now, we got to take a look at this, and I, and I think they're watching what they're spending, and they're afraid yet to come out, but I think that little by little, everybody will start trickling out and get back to normal, because, you know, they want the excitement, they want, they want some entertainment, they want to get out and hang out with their friends. Downtown restaurants, we've been down here for going on 10 years, right? and the excitement of downtown has been really, really well. 
It's been hopping. We've been doing well every year going on and on. And now with YSU shut down, uh, the Cavalli Center shut down, Amphitheater, Dior, now we rely on that. And, it, and we lost the Italian Fest. We rely on that to bring people downtown to support all the restaurants down here. Now, we're, we got to see which direction we're going to go with that, the entertainment. Friday and Saturday night, I have DJs, jam-packed every Friday and Saturday night. I'm not allowed to do DJs no more, can't be that crowded. So we got to take a look at this and, and see how we're going to get around this and when it will bounce back. I had a visitor last week, we weren't here cleaning and all that. John Miles, the owner of Steel White, stopped in. He was driving by, he seen us, so he stopped in and see if we... We sat and we talked and wanted to know if we needed anything to do anything. Uh, he has some new ideas for us to do, some new dish he wants to take a look at, uh, to up, keep everything updated, keep it fresh for the people. And I tell you what, Still Light's been a great company. They're always looking out for their customers and they've been looking out for us, man. I, I like them a lot. And they're right downtown Young Sounds or Showroom, so it's a good partnership we all have with them. The best thing we can do that, to get back, we've got to work hard at it. I got my staff and us. we're ready to go at it. We're ready to take care of the customers again. Uh, we're gonna work hard to get back to where we're at. We're not giving up. Like I said, we've been here for 10 years, going on 11 years now. We're ready to go. And we're gonna take care of everybody and work with the city, whoever, YSU, Dior, the Cavalli Center, uh, the Amphitheater. We're gonna work together and get this all back on track and bring people downtown. Brian was making the pizza. Oh man, it was it was good. Do you remember when we were much younger and we would hang out there a lot more? Yeah, yeah, and they miss us. I know they Do miss they? us. I think deep down they want us to be young again and come back. I feel like the next time we take the show on the road, maybe we should go there. I think that's a great idea. I'm up for Can it. I just I'm totally make that up decision for it. Just on the <laughs> See you in a couple weeks. Yeah, we'll see you then. <laughs> Get the, make sure the pizza oven's ready to go. We want to thank everybody who makes this show possible. Uh, Steelite, our friends, you know, from Kelly Warren & Associates yep. for opening up their doors and our entire team that's just stuck with us even though we can't really technically be together. Yeah, we appreciate all of it. Yeah. And you for watching too. So make sure you watch us on all our platforms if you missed the show live. And, uh, and you can watch it right there on the internet in the privacy of your own home. And keep things clean. This retro commercial, Good one. <laughs> yeah, Sarah doing the laundry kind of reminded me of this one. So, have a good weekend, everybody. How do you get shirts so clean, Mr. Lee? Ancient Chinese secret. My husband, some hotshot. Here's his ancient Chinese secret. New, improved Calgon. Calgon's two water softeners soften wash water so detergents clean better. In hardest water, Calgon helps detergents get laundry up to 30% cleaner. We need more Calgon. Ancient Chinese secret, huh? Calgon helps detergents get laundry up to 30% cleaner. If you like this video, subscribe to Valley Spotlight on YouTube and be sure to click on the notifications bell so you know when we've got some new stuff. You also can like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and subscribe to us on Vimeo or our Roku channel.